Hey, it's Lucas. Welcome back to the Chan Chan. Today, we're gonna be testing out so many YouTuber products. People always say YouTubers don't do anything. All they do is prank their moms and force their kids to be in elaborate family vlogs that the kids will one day sue them for. But YouTubers are out here creating businesses. YouTubers are CEOs changing the world. Wait, are YouTubers like the best people on earth? Yeah! Are YouTubers more important than doctors? Obviously they are. Today we're gonna be investigating that. Also, this is food edition. All of this is going into my body. <sighs> I guess I'll just get into it. <laughs> First up, Star Yak Ranch Jeffree Star Meat. Yes, I have a meat business now. If somebody told me four years ago that Jeffree Star would have a yak meat brand, I honestly probably would believe them. I've never had yak, but I'm excited to make some yak burgers. So like a year ago or something, Jeffree Star started posting with all these yaks and people were like, oh, he just adopted some yaks on his big acreage in Wyoming. That's cute. That's a unique pet. And then he was like, no, we're slaughtering them. I'm starting a meat business. I'm excited to eat his pets. I also got the yak snack sticks, hollow jalapeno cheese. Let's try it. Let me do a swatch for you guys. Okay. I mean, it's good. The only thing, I don't really taste jalapeno. I wish it was more spicy. Okay, time to make some yak burgers. I paid extra for one of the yaks that's featured on his TikTok. It's so stressful. Why do I feel like I'm on a Food Network show where like there's a time limit? Okay, it's gonna be fun. It's sizzling! Pop off, Jeffrey. Okay, Jeffrey. Okay, Jeff. How come no one calls him Jeff? Always remember to take the internal temperature of meat when you're cooking. Shit. Jeffrey Star made me start my house on fire, so I'm suing. And it would be out of this I know. There was nowhere on the packaging telling me not to, not to start my house on fire. I'm mad. Do you want to cut it in half or eat it normal? Um, I'll cut it in half. Oh, well, that adds a vibe. As you guys know, Jacob and I are food experts, so this is a big deal. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. It just tastes like a regular burger. <laughs> I guess that's to be expected, but it's good. If someone sold me this, I wouldn't know. Just be honest, we've all tried this. A little tiny bit tastes like ale wax. <laughs> But it's good. You just said it tastes like earwax. <laughs> so I'm gonna be ranking all of these products on am I aroused or not? I would say I'm aroused by the yak meat. I also got aroused. After that burger, I'm feeling a little bit thirsty, a little bit parched. Good thing we have Prime. Heck yes, honey. KSI and Logan Paul's drink. I think this is pretty much just Gatorade, but better. I'm pretty sure the whole thing is it has less harmful ingredients and less sugar, I think. Yeah, I don't know. Hydrates you. It has electrolytes, <laughs> whatever those are. Prime was developed to fill the void where great taste meets function with bold thirst quenching flavors to help Blah, blah, blah. All right, perfect. Oh, it's made in Kentucky. That's cool. I've, I have no connection to Kentucky. I've never been there, but I like Kentucky Fried Chicken. Okay, first up we got blue raspberry. Ooh, 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 ooh. Holy F. Wait, these only have 25 calories? I'm not kidding, that had so much flavor. I feel like I'm in a commercial right now. <laughs> no, this is so good. <laughs> I feel like I'm drinking a popsicle. I mean, do I feel more hydrated? Let's show photos of me before I drink this to right now. Yeah, I would say I look more hydrated. And also it shows um, this little thing right here. It shows like a muscle. So like, Loki, like, I don't even think I have to work out and this will make me strong, so I'm excited. Ooh, ice pop. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's honestly really good. It might be like the littlest bit too sweet for me. Oh, and grape. I used to love the flavor grape. When I was younger and I was sick, my mom made me drink grape Tylenol or some shit. Ever since then, I can't really do grape. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> I don't like it because I don't like grape. I've already gotten into it. I have PTSD about grape. I hate it. The thing is I like actual grapes. I just don't like grape flavor. I think I'd rather get Gatorade just because I associate Logan Paul and KSI with boxing. And when I think of boxing, I get anxiety. So drinking this would give me anxiety. Whereas when I get Gatorade, just saying the word Gatorade has the word gay in it. So I feel accepted and also just like gay, you know? Yeah. With Prime, I thought I was aroused, but I didn't climax, and now I just feel dirty. Sorry? Next up, Beast Burger! 
We're gonna be comparing this against the Jeffree Star burgers. There's a feud possibly between them. There's drama, who wins the battle? You can only buy this on Uber Eats, I think. And I'm pretty sure it's all made in Red Robin. So at first I was like, oh my gosh, it's just a Red Robin burger. This isn't even cool. Just a Red Robin burger, but has Mr. Beast logo on it. But apparently they actually send them new ingredients. It's new patties and stuff. So this is a whole new experience. They just use Red Robin as their ghost kitchen or something. I don't know. I do have to say the packaging is very cute. It's giving me Happy Meal meets cartoon. I got some beast fries, a beast burger, and a chicken burger. I love a good loaded fry, like animal style fries at In-N-Out. This looks like a whole different experience. Is that some Dijon mustard? There's some pickles. Is that mayo? I'm excited. No, I'm kidding. This is actually so good. Oh, I'm, I'm queefing. Oh my god, I love it. This might like change my life a little bit. Me trying to suck up to Mr. Beast. Put me in a video. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Listen, I am gonna be one of those annoying people who uses a fork teat fries. Yeah, I literally love it. When I saw the Dijon mustard and mayo, it grossed me out. I don't know even know if that's mayo though. <laughs> me trying to lie to you to make you taste it. <laughs> is it Kanban or what? <laughs> Wait, do you think it is? I think Mr. Beast ships his sperm to every location. Oh my god! Mm -hmm. Can't we're trying Mr. Beast's fluids. As you guys can tell, I'm definitely aroused from the fries, but what about the chicken burger and regular burger? Also, is the Diet Coke at Mr. Beast burger good? Mm, 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 mm. Ew! This game just tastes like obviously any other Diet Coke. Oh, I love how sloppy it is. This is giving me five guys energy. Oh, I'm. Mm -hmm. The grill marks. Yeah, it's honestly really good, but I wouldn't put it in the God tier of like in and out and Shake Shack. You know what I mean? But it's good. This is their Nashville hot chicken sandwich. Mm, it's not wet enough. I need to get like deeper into the middle, you know? Mm, yeah, it's good, but it's not even hot. I'm pretty sure I got the Nashville hot chicken, right? Yeah, Nashville chicken. I guess it doesn't say hot chicken, but I just thought Nashville chicken meant hot, but this is a little hard because this got me good and great. This was like, okay, you're cute. And this was like, get the F away from me. But like, we're kind of friends. So I would say overall, Mr. Beast Burger aroused me, but I would not buy the OnlyFans. Like if this food was trying to sell an OnlyFans, I'd be like, no, I'm good. Oh, I'm Next up, we have Dizzy Tanamanjo Wine. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm rich and you're not. Um, I gotta say, I like the packaging, it's cute. I'm pretty sure the whole vibe of the brand is edgy, crazy, Gen Z wine, euphoria. Let's get crazy. Drugs. Like that's the vibe of the website. And I'm pretty sure they even have a paragraph that says like, this is wine for 20 somethings to drink on their own terms. Which made me laugh because it's like, why can't they just drink regular wine on their own terms? But I like the branding. So I'm ready to be an edgy euphoria teen and drink up. Oh my God, also she gave me an autograph. That's not printed. I have an autograph from Tina Manjo. Oh, and then there's some photos on this side. I'm not gonna show you them because it's her boobs and her ass. Yes. Wait, hold on. Well, it's a little dizzy can on the nipple. Yep, it's her ass with one of the cans on it. Does that mean that this one on her ass? If my cans didn't touch her nipples and her ass, I'm gonna be pissed. I just love how asses are just everywhere. Like even with the stuff you're gonna eat and drink, it's just like, oh, let me put it on my ass for the photo. Like I'm surprised Mr. Beast Burgers wasn't Mr. Beast bent over with like a stack of burgers on his ass. It's the only way to sell a product in 2022, ass, ass. A wine that is young, edgy, playful, yet rebellious. If that's not me, let's get lit. Shut! Four cans equals a bottle of wine, I guess. And I'm pretty sure, what did I spend on this? I think all in all, this was like $50 or something. So that means a bottle of wine would be $20 around that. Cause there was like shipping and stuff, which I gotta say a $20 bottle of wine, that is bougie. Like that's like the fancy one at the store, you know? Most of the time people get the bottles that are like $8 or like $12, but this is a fancy one apparently. All right, this is white wine Chardonnay. Let's get dizzy, bitches. I'm actually very surprised it tastes like this. Yeah, it's like a dry Chardonnay. I just made that up. I don't even, I think that's what dry means, but like it isn't this sweet ass bubblegum flavor. Like I was picturing a Moscato. You know what are those wines you're just drinking syrup? Yeah, this tastes like champagne almost. Yeah, it tastes like wine you'd have at a fancy wedding, but like kind of gross in a way. The thing with wine is the first sip, you always hate it, no matter what bottle you get. But then like the third glass in, you're like, oh, hey, this is good. I love how cute the bottle is. I got a picture of her ass and an autograph. I would say I'm aroused. Are you aroused by the photos though or the actual product? Oh crap, you're right. Am I aroused by the product? Oh, big ass. <laughs> <laughs>
I mean, it's good. I'm never gonna buy it again because it's expensive, but it's cute. I like it, I'm aroused. Wow, I'm feeling tipsy and I want some chocolate. <laughs> you not feeling dizzy? Oh, I mean, I'm feeling dizzy. <laughs> Mr. Beast chocolate. He has two brands. This is actually just at Walmart. Just went to Walmart and bought this, so. Pop off, he's in Walmart, that's a big deal. So the thing about Mr. Beast chocolate is it's supposed to be like healthy because it's only five ingredients and it's like organic or some shit. It says it's grass-fed milk, that's cool. This is just their classic milk chocolate. Yeah, it just tastes like chocolate. <laughs> it doesn't taste like healthy chocolate, so that's good. You know, some of this stuff is like a healthy thing. It kind of just tastes like shit, but. We have chocolate sea salt. Oh, it says share. Share like the person that says, do you believe in love? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can you imagine if he literally just wrote Cher's name on here? <laughs> Mmm, almond chocolate. I already know I'm gonna hate this one. I just hate when almonds are in any sort of chocolates. Quinoa crunch. Why did it break? I got a defective one. Oh my God, it's all cracked. I better get a refund. I'm just kidding, but when I was getting these, people at Walmart are annoying because I literally tried to find ones that were solid because a lot of them were like, you could feel they were cracked. You know, these annoying ass people at Walmart going and cracking everything. Like, please get a life. I actually kind of like the crunch. My favorite was probably the chocolate sea salt. So Mr. Beast chocolate, I almost got aroused, but I'm still leaving the situation satisfied. Shout out to all the YouTube CEOs out there. Don't forget to subscribe. So I still think my business is gonna be Pomeranian jerky.